What if I told you you could buy a knife with a no-fuss lifetime warranty, and that if you didn't end up with any problems, the person fixing your knife has over 47 years of experience fixing knives exactly like yours? And then what if I told you to top all of that off that this company's been making excellent knives in the United States for over 120 years? Today, we are at Buck Knives, and we are gonna be putting their lifetime warranty to the test. So I have three different buck knives in varying needs of warranty. I've got these two fixed blades that are both over 50 years old. They just kind of need a spa treatment and probably a new sheath. And then I have this newer slip joint, which is in a whole nother need of repair. So we're here to get the royal treatment, just like any knife you send a buck from their warranty wizard, Danny. Hey, Danny. Hey, how goes it? Dude, doing so good, uh, but I got some knives that need some love. Let's fix them up, make <laughs> them more lovely. Let's do it. <laughs> My buck knives are very important to me and have been in my family for a long time. So I couldn't imagine a better person in the world to trust their reconditioning than Danny. With almost a half a century of experience at Buck and over 30 years of being Buck's one-stop shop for all warranty knives, Danny is nothing short of a master craftsman. After seeing how well loved my fixed blades were, Danny was really interested in seeing if he could date them. I'm gonna date this one, let's see. It'd be this guy right here. So it's anywhere from 72 to 86. So that's that's the 120. Let's yeah. see where this guy is. This is the same. So, you know, it's in between there somewhere. Right, yeah. And then after a while, then they started, they started doing every year. Yeah, in 86 is when they started, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. every year got a, a code. Cool. Yeah, I know that one's 72 because my dad told me this okay. one's from my father-in-law, so I, who knows when, you know, who knows. Yeah, I mean, was, yeah. it's really hard to tell. Yeah, exactly. Somewhere in there. My feelings about my buck knives are not unique. It seems every buck knife has a story. And being a true craftsman, Danny knows that. So he starts each job with one or two important questions. First, how much character should he leave on the knife? And the second question for older knives is seemingly weird. Does it get an Edge 2000? What kind of edge you want on this? The regular edge or the edge 2000 and this is something i learned just coming here today yeah it was before the year 2000 you guys did a particular type of edge basically forever right right, right and right. then after 2000 you guys have, are doing a different edge on all the knives so like these knives these are older on that time scale these knives for sure had the pre edge mm -hmm. 2000 yeah which edge 2000 totally sounds like a sci-fi movie <laughs> i love it so one thing that's really cool about the pre edge 2000 edge so the wheel that you would do that work on you guys make that wheel right yeah it's a soft wheel like a buffing pad and then they glue aluminum oxide on there okay yeah. so it's so it gives so it's not like a grinding stone has some give to it. So you're able to get that kind of... Yeah, and you get apple seedish. It, it shape serves to it. a couple purposes, you know, that you get into the hollow grind, and then you could brush across the edge if you need to. A lot of people like the gray wheel edge, but it tends to round. As time went on, Chuck had noticed it wasn't quite up to par for him. Right. He wanted it sharper. Okay. At that point, we stopped the way we did edge and relearned the edge 2000, which is just basically 1515. Uh, so that's our goal. Right. to hit 1515, and that's, that's the Edge 2000. In the end, I opted for the Edge 2000, it just keeps my service and sharpening easier. But this brings us back to the question that Danny has for every single knife that comes across his bench. How much character should he leave on the knife? What may look like just a scratch or scuff to you and me could be an entire symbolic history and the sole reason that someone would want their knife tuned up. It takes a masterful eye like Danny's to decipher these signs and symbols and make sure they live on. I love that you're leaving some character in the knife. Yeah, it's, right? that's important. Sometimes uh, some people don't even want me to buff it. Don't want it touched. Right. Don't touch the handle. Just the edge. Just, just sharpen, sharpen it. it. Yeah, it I get a lot of people that they live with that knife for a long time. I love it. I love it. And you don't want to take the character out of somebody who puts down. Don't no. take the character. Well, and that's the thing is, is like this 120, this is my motorcycle knife. Yeah. And so I've taken this all over the country. I've taken this everywhere I've went. It was my, I told you, it was yeah. my dad's knife, right? Yeah, yeah. I inherited it, hit a deer at 65 miles an hour on my motorcycle. And the only thing I asked was, did you get my knife? Oh, because at yeah. that time I was still borrowing this knife from my dad. And so I was like, well, I got to get it back to him. <laughs> yeah, it means a lot. And then the cool thing is, is after the accident, he gave me the knife. Yeah. So now it's mine, yeah. which is really exciting, you know? <laughs> 
And I'm sure doing the warranty work, and for as many years as you've done it, you've probably seen the gamut of stories and people's connection to these like really cool tools, right? I got a lot of letters from people thinking me for whatever you do, you know? Yeah. Well, and also just in the instructions, right? right. Yeah. You were kind of mentioning, yeah, yeah. you're like, yeah, if I see a knife that has some character in it or maybe an engraving and there's not anything in the instructions, yeah. you'll put it to the side, exactly. contact the customer exactly. and, and make sure, right? Yeah. Well, in 47 years, from what I understand, you're like, you're the guy here. Like you're the longest term employee <laughs> at this point, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm the dinosaur here. <laughs> the dinosaur. <laughs> well, this is this is the great thing you get is is with that amount of time, not only do you get some knowledge, but you get, hopefully you get some wisdom too, right? Yeah. <laughs> and it was really cool because you were saying with the 105, you were saying that you might have made this knife. Could have. Back never. in the day when you guys were up based out of California. You never know. <laughs> One thing we do know is that Buck and Danny do their best to keep your knife in service. This philosophy extends past just the hardware all the way to your sheath. With a lot of buck knives, you get a sheath, a nice leather sheath. Now, the sheath on the 105, I feel like the sheath was in pretty good condition. Like, it's, you know, it's old, but it's not falling apart by any means. It's not abused. It's not abused. As far as warranty goes, if it looks like it's been abused, or, yeah. or somebody's cut that off or did this, yeah. then a lot of times they'll, they'll, they'll put in for a half cost. You know, you yeah. pay half cost. But if it's normal wear and tear and stuff, normally they, you no. get a, you'll get a sheet for get it. A sheet if too. you ask. Right. A lot of yeah. people don't want a new sheet. Yeah, well that's the thing is is like this sheet to me is absolutely gorgeous, right? Yeah. But the reality of it is is Yeah, it's going it's it's going. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's there. You know, <laughs> if I carry this on my motorcycle for a couple hundred miles, that's for sure breaking and I'm gonna lose my knife. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And so I'm gonna fix this one personally. There you right? go. Right? But it is really cool that you guys are like, oh yeah, no, totally like throwing a sheet, you know, it, normal wear and tear, right? Yeah. I mean, you guys have been around for over 120 years, right? And so there's a lot of knives out there. You know what I mean? I get the sense that it's kind of a no fuss lifetime warrant. And I wanna be careful how I say that because obviously there are limits. You have a whole wall of limits. The way I understood it is none of these are warranty. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I will say this much, they had that Paradise Fire. Right. We replaced a lot of them for the people. That's yeah. They were saying that uh, uh, because the fires happen so often, right? Yeah. That it just came to the point where you guys were like, "Hey, we can we can like give you an at cost replacement, or yeah. we can fix this up for a few bucks, but yeah. we just can't do it for free anymore." Yeah. But the fact that you guys did so many for free is really cool. But you know, yeah. Chuck was good about it. What's your What's your favorite one that somebody has tried? <laughs> uh, yeah, this one's kind of cool. In a fire or something like that. Yeah, looks yeah. Like. It hot enough that melted the uh, aluminum. <laughs> do you ever get somebody that like has written in like, "Oh, this, this, that," oh, and yeah. you look at your knife and you're just like, "There's no one." Like, well, do you get those very often or? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes the particular knife itself could be so old I can't fix it. Right. There's no parts. Right. <laughs> Which is another thing. You right? know, yeah. 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 So we get a lot of those too. So what happens if Danny can't fix your knife? All right. So you brought me to the warranty room. This is where we first met you. So this knife in particular, you're saying you can't fix. Is it because you don't have the blade for this one? That's an import. So oh, we have no parts okay. for the import. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because Buck does, it's like 10, 15% import. Yes. I didn't yeah. realize this was an import. That's actually hilarious. Oh, sure enough. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I've never noticed. Right? <laughs> a lot of people don't. So, okay, import, is it still covered under the lifetime warranty? Yeah, so we will replace it if we can. Right, yeah, yeah. And if not, we can replace it with the value of the knife or an upgrade, whatever. Cool. Now, I know that you had, you had told the gals that we had a, the situation, so they'd pick two out, right? Right, Yeah. so you could choose. So this one, very similar, just different handle. Right. And then this one would be, this is a three blade, probably a little bit of an upgrade. Right, it's but a 301, 301, yeah. Yeah, same range. But yeah. I think I'm gonna go with the three blade then. Good choice. Yeah, okay, you like that one better, huh? <laughs> I made the right choice, Danny approved. Yeah, I can fix I can fix this one. <laughs> Thank you so much for all the work. Thank you. On, uh, on the knives, I'm excited to have everything back in rotation, razor sharp and just ready to rock. <laughs> So, my pleasure, my and pleasure. It, it's been a huge pleasure meeting you. It's been an honor, honestly. Like, thank you. you. Like your work has been a big part of my family for years. So thank, thank you. you for all the work you've done. All right. Okay, thanks. thanks. <laughs> it has been a pleasure to spend an entire day with somebody who is truly a master of their craft. Now, obviously we got special access to show you guys how the sauce is made, but our warranty claims were treated exactly how any Buck customer could expect them to be treated. And that's saying a lot. It goes a long way with the Buck philosophy from employing people like Danny and making such a good environment that they stick around for 47 years, all the way to caring about their product and standing behind their product firmly with a very real lifetime warranty. It's so much more than make it, ship it out, and forget it. It's like Danny says, you have to leave some character in it. And as you can see, Buck has character in spades. 
Now, if you're wondering about my original sheet that I had, I've already done something really cool with this and we have a video up on the channel, so make sure to go check that out. And if you wanna know what Danny was carrying, we have a pocket check video from Buck as well. Check that out. We'll catch you on the next one.